before this video does begin, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider leaving a like and sub as I put a ton of effort into making it. And also, I want to give a massive thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. I've been using ExpressVPN for the past 2 years, helping me with faster loading times when I'm trying to transfer out in ARC, protecting me from DDoS attacks or just hackers trying to steal my information, which in a game like ARC is no surprise, and when I'm just looking to kick back, relax and watch a movie, but due to where I love can't, by using ExpressVPN, I'm able to change my location at the tap of a button, and before I know it, now I have access to all the shows I could possibly want. Not only that, if you use my link in the description below, you will get a whole 3 months of ExpressVPN free. So make sure to use that link, and without further ado, I hope you go on to enjoy the video. Huh, that's odd. Maybe I forgot to feed it. Hello? Uh, anyone here? I was told to come here. Welcome, Agent Sinza. Oh, it's one of these, okay. Your mission should you choose to accept it, and you really have no choice. Wait, come again now? I've got a sniper pointed right at you. Of course you do. Okay, here we go again. What's this about? Your mission, when you do accept it, is to infiltrate your old rat hole and take full control. Oh, really? I mean, that's actually very kind of you. I've had a lot of good memories there. In fact, it's where I recorded my first PlayStation series ever. I mean, thank you. As much as I'd like to take credit for an act of kindness like that, no. You're here to do the ASEIA's dirty work. We need that outpost secured to further our investigations. And seeing as you're the only agent who's had experience in that field, the executive made it clear he wanted you for the job. Oh, the executive. Uh, well, yeah, it's whatever. I mean, I'm a solo 5,000 hours. It's, it's going to be a walk in the park. Oh, and one more thing. We've recently gone under construction here at the agency, so we've lost connection to all other maps. No, no, no. Good woolly rhino. Oh, shit. Yep, there goes the transmitter. Meaning you'll have to do all of this on the center. <sighs> oh, why did I not see that one coming in the district? That sniper... Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he's still there. Okay, yeah, uh, all right, all infiltrate, control, uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I can do that. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, here we are, PlayStation Wipe, on the beaches, you know how it is, already. So, for the return, for me coming back to PlayStation, I thought, the base location I'm gonna be going for, well actually, you know what, we, we, got, a, we got a few settings and challenges I gotta make clear to you guys. So for starters, for starters, well, uh, my challenge is going to be the center. So I thought, you know, I'm coming back to PlayStation and what better way to make it or start it than to be stuck on the very map that I recorded my first series on PlayStation. So that's the first challenge. The first challenge is we're going to be stuck on the center. We can't go anywhere else, meaning everything we want, everything we get has to come from the center. And then, well, actually, I guess that's that's the only rule or sitting I, I, I've come up with so far. Oh, 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 and the other thing, the base spot that I'm going to be going after will be none other than the very base spot I recorded my very first series on. I thought like, you know, that's just, what's the word? It will be so iconic, you know, it's, it's just, it makes sense, that sort of thing. And one of the reasons why I've spawned all the way over here on the forest side of things is mainly because I'm hoping... So, 
because this is the center, obviously there's no Wyvern Scar, so that means my fastest team is most likely going to be that Tyranodon over there. But if they are custom spawns, like, uh, I don't know, Snow Owls, Maywings maybe in the jungle, uh, you know, I want to get my hands on those, so that's why I've spawned over here in the hopes that maybe there's Maywings and those things because it is going to speed things up. But for now, I guess for now, I'm just going to have to get a few levels and tame a Tyranodon. Just like the, just like the good old days. Oh, damn. What is going on, guys? Oh, yeah, also the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, the thing I forgot to mention, I am not used to this keyboard. So, I mean, right now, if you guys see my setup, it is so, so messed up. I'm using, like, a $2 keyboard that I have no idea and i'm not at all familiar with but i do gotta get used to it so you know that's always great and yeah i'm just trying to get i guess used to the keyboard used to the i also be using a new mouse basically like two dollars i literally i i received the playstation the day before the wipe so i've only had that much time to set everything up so i just quickly you know got a two quick two dollar keyboard got a quick two dollar mouse and Bing! THEY DO EXIST! <laughs> okay, let's go. That's huge. Okay, that is actually huge. Okay. That's actually gonna make this challenge slightly, slightly more doable. Now that the uh, custom sport. So, looks like PTs aren't gonna be the fastest team, but Maywings, rather, are going to be that team. However, and this is a big however, the only way I can get into my base spot that I want to claim is with a Pteranodon, not with a Maywing. So, either way, yeah, I guess I gotta get a, a Tyranodon. Like, oh my, I need to get used to these controls. You probably think, well, since why did you switch over to the... Oh, I can't, I don't have custom keybinds. I forgot about that. Yeah, on PlayStation, you don't get custom keybinds. Uh, oh, my fingers can't, even, that, that's so far to freaking reach. I mean, it's not bad, it's doable, I guess. Yeah, and the reason why I'm not switching between keyboards is because literally when I edit, then I'm editing with my main keyboard and that, and then if I, and obviously I edit like every single day, and so if I have to keep on, it's such a tedious process to just switch between keyboard here, keyboard there, it's just, oh man, it's, it's a, uh, yeah, so I mean still working out the kinks, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there, man, if you, if you guys had to see my setup, you know what, I'm actually going to take a picture. Oh my god, it is... Yo, this is... what? <sighs> Yo, why is my sensitivity so slow? It's all my sense though. If I didn't have enough on my plate with the challenges, the other one would be getting used to the controls. Okay, uh... That's a bit... Okay, I gotta figure this out first. Oh, this is gonna be such a process, but ah, uh. but we, we we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. Okay, how's this? I mean, okay. Yeah, we just we just, we're just gonna have to get used to this. Who is this? A little cave over here? No, no, no. Oh, that's an Argent V. Okay, so first things first, probably gonna build up the base, get that going. Or build up the starter base, I should say. Oh, you gotta type in like that. Damn it. Oh, what? Yeah, I just typed that in. Ooh. Oh my. Okay, so that's another thing we gotta get used to is that the typing is a bit mad. <sighs> growing pains, growing pains. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to give myself a freaking challenge or just staying on the center when I barely have a hang of the controls right now. Is that a terror bird I hear? I must say the bubbles feel pretty nice on PlayStation. Just this. I don't know if it's just me, but it sounds pretty good. Should be enough. There we go.
Yeah, it's just like, the, I don't know. I don't know if it's me that has to get used to these mouse movements, but it just feels a bit delayed. I don't know if, if that's like normal or... That's probably because I'm coming from PC to this. That's why it feels like that. Alright, nice. Got PC saddle. Yeah, look, like my mouse just jumps to the corner for no reason. Alright, well, now that we have this PT, I do actually have to set up a base. Y here's a Maywing. I think this was the one I found earlier. Yeah, the level 40. Mm. I don't know, I think I'll just set up my base, like, right here. There's all, like, two hidden. I'm probably just gonna- I won't even make, like, a proper base. Oh, I gotta type here now. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's make some refining forges. Yeah, three. Like that. We're just gonna get the stuff for a Maywing saddle. Oh yeah, nice. This is gonna give us some good XP as well. We'll worry about like leveling and all that once we get to our base location. But in the meantime... In the meantime, we'll just focus on getting the tames we need to get us to the base location. Actually, what levels that text they go? Would be good electronics. Oh... Okay, so this is the other thing. Look, so... One thing you play on mouse and keyboard, I remember this from when I used to play PlayStation. If you play mouse and keyboard, you'll notice when you aim in with weapons and even the spyglass, look how slow my sensitivity is, like now it's like fast, but with the spyglass it's slow. And so you just gotta adjust the DPI of your mouse and then it will move faster. And then obviously when you look out again, you just adjust it back to what it normally is. So for me, it will be this pretty much, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I remember all the pains and struggles. It's all coming back to me now. Alright, maybe we knocked out. And boom, maybe we tame. Sweet. Okay, let me get... Turn this off. Let me get... Middle, but well, I'll just get middle pick, and then I want to save up for the maiming saddle. Shouldn't take too long. Nice upgrade on the pick, and then I actually don't even need to worry about getting full metal tools because with the maiming I plan to get like a white drop, and then that will give me a basic kit. <laughs> Are you guys noticing the difference in the FOV? Is it just me? Like it's mad, like in first person as well. Because obviously I got a custom FOV on PC, but... Oh, uh, yeah, this is the... I mean, I guess like everything, even the controls, everything. It's, it's just gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but... I'm excited for it. It's like when I first started to learn how to play mouse and keyboard, because... I mean, most of you will know when you just try to, like, learn to play mouse and keyboard. It is... Yo! You are... You are functioning at the speed of a snail, like, your brain output and all of that stuff. It's like, you, and then you're actually looking at the keyboard to press the key to do the thing, like... It's sort of like that, but not on as deep of a level, if that makes sense. Oh, Look at us go! We're just gonna go a bit slow for the PT. Nice. Alright, where's my PT? I mean, it's probably stuck somewhere. Anyways, let's upgrade the armor. Oh, nice. PT literally exactly what I planned for. Landed right on top of me. Alright, nice. Certain slots are gonna have to be weird, but... Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Because usually I have like a I I have mouse buttons as keybinds and that sort of thing, but now obviously that's not the case because is that someone that flew above me? Or just a random turn. Okay, sweet. We got the May ring. That's gonna help us get around faster. We got the PT, that's gonna help us move into our base location. Now, I may just go a bit ham and 
farm some white drops because then we can get a couple basic kits, flax tips, that sort of thing. May just do that. Yeah, I, th I think I might as well. And that one just got taken, okay. There's a white drop here that's coming down, but I don't know if I want to wait for it. I uh, don't think I do. I, I guess main goal right now would just be to make sure the base location is open, we can take it. And then we should start getting to, to work on just getting some basic defenses so we can hold our own. That's going to be the main, main goal. Let me actually see, is there a base here? Nah, no base here. I'm actually curious to see where people on PlayStation build. Because what I've noticed, people on Steam versus people on Windows, uh, they and Xbox, they build in totally different base locations to each other. So I'm curious to see if people on PlayStation is like totally different to people on like Steam and Windows. That makes sense. This is our base location. Some of you may recognize it. This was the spot that I started my first ever series. This one right here. And I gotta get used to that K mode. And I don't, I think we may be lucky. I don't think anyone took it. What I will definitely do. Why can I not? Does this not work? Okay, the, what? The, okay, so it's a bit buggy, I guess, but that's okay. There we go, we got the May Wing. Yeah, image is a bit. Like, yeah, why can't I click on this? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really wish this was optimized for. What's it called? Oh, for PlayStation, it would be so much better, so much nicer, but that's okay. Alright, cool. Let's get our foundation setups. Oh, this brings back memories though. This little, this spot here. Oh man, I remember my first video sitting up in this spot. And Smithy will just stick. Like that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go out, farm some resources. Gonna need to get- <laughs> Yo! I'm just picturing like right now, the thing that's going through my head is me doing my little, well, commentary that I'm doing right now. But just in that old video, I, I swear it was the same, like I'm going out to farm resources. Oh man. The memories. Brings back the good old days. With this challenge, I think I see our first raid target. I do see our first raid target, yo! I don't think they have turrets on the back. I think it's just those two turrets there. Oh no, but I think they got raided because that, yeah, damage, that, that's damage at the back. So maybe those turrets don't even have any ammo. That's my guess. Oh man, okay, okay, I was getting excited there, that, because we could have pre pretty much done that raid target very, very soon. This is the spot I always used to come to. The closest metal spot was this one over here with oil. That's also another reason why I want to limit myself to only the center, because Genesis back then when I used to play Ark, that wasn't even a thing. There we go. Yeah, so Genesis wasn't even a thing back then when I used to play. So I'd usually always just come over here, and then there's crystal and metal and oil up here, which is very nice. And then Lost Island wasn't even actually a thing back when I used to play. And then yeah, this was my spot right here. I'd come here, I'd farm the metal, get the crystal, there's some oil rocks somewhere over there. Ooh, we even got penguins here, okay, cool. So I can also get some polymer one time. And I just gotta find a way of getting chitin so I can make some into paste. Yo, the metal just sinks into the ground. Okay, how much metal do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4,000. That's 2,000 ingots. Yeah, that should be more than enough for now. And then what I'll do, I'll obviously have to get a bunch of wood. I swear my FOB in third person like this is still less than my FOV in first person on PC, if that makes sense. 
Oh, that's mad. You can get the polymer, because that gets the most polymer out of these things. I'll just use a normal bow. I don't want to take the grapples out of my crossbow. Too much extra effort. Okay, boom, got club. Oh, that's some good polymer. That's, we already, so that will be enough polymer for turrets. We already got metal once it's smelted, enough for turrets. Uh, we need to go farm, oh, I'm gonna show you guys my silica pole spot. Oh, there's this big lake I always used to go to. Lovely thing, I tell you. Something descended from the heavens or some shit like that. Okay, cool. How much crystal do we have? Oh, 20. Of course, that's the perfect amount to have. Is that a snarl? Okay, so snarls are a thing. Good to know, good to know. So I'm the only thing I'm missing though is paste. I'm gonna need paste to to make a fabricator. I'll have everything for spark powder and that sort of thing and all the other resources, but I won't have cementy paste. These keratin around here, so I can get I can. Uh, by killing rhinos and uh, but those aren't the easiest to kill but yeah you can get keratin that way do archies give keratin i don't know this is a low level I've, i'll find out i don't know why i feel yeah it is a low level i mean i just got hide now so i'm gonna have to kill a woody rhino with my pt that's gonna be fun Let's get these loaded. And then metal wise, we've got a fair bit of metal, so we can just split these in half. I actually kind of like that sound effect. I think I normally on Xbox or Steam, I have it disabled, whatever it is, but eh, it's a nice sound effect. Wait, can you not move stuff around on in your inventory? Oh, is that? Wait, was that? No, no, you. Oh, you gotta do it quickly, I remember, yeah. Yo, know, all the literal, all these like little glitches and stuff, is, it's all coming back. You, you, to move, see like, I can't just click on this and move it. I gotta do it fast, otherwise, yeah. Hey yo, we will be we'll, we'll figuring it out as we go. In terms of paste, I seriously do not, this is a big do not, want to spend my time turning it into chitin, get paste, that, nah, nah, nah. We're getting it from beaver dams. Yo, that's all. That's the only way it's happening. Is, is beaver dance. This is the part right here, though, where we need the pteranodon. See, the pteranodon allows us to go back and forth very quickly. With a May wing, it's gonna be a parkour mission to do. Pteranodon? Not so much. Okay, now sometimes, or not sometimes, but normally there are beaver dams located here. It's not the safest place to grab them, but. People don't check these too thoroughly, I guess you could say. So hopefully we can get lucky. Yeah. And find one. Now if I get jumped by a Capro, that's not good. We actually found two. Ooh, okay. Did we get greedy? I swear I, I see a beaver in here. Oh, I'm sorry I got greedy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we got out in the nick of time. Okay, sweet. Nice, okay. We got some anti paste. We got a bit of silica pulse from that, but I'm gonna take you guys to my spot. Or should I take you to my... The thing about my spot though, it is somewhat populated and right now I don't wanna mess with anyone. So... Until we get like properly geared with weapons and stuff, I don't think I'll go there just yet. I'll take you guys to my other other spot. So this spot's a bit more low key. Okay, so this is my other other spot. This spot right here, it's not that popular but there are a few nodes of the good stuff the silica poles and it'll be just enough to so we can get our first few turrets up on the base man this is so cool i would have like when i just started this arc channel I, I would have never imagined that one day i'd have a server named after me literally named after me and oh you get a bit too sentimental you're not paying attention 
but yeah literally named after me and uh i mean people are playing it and doing the service like this is oh that's cool i mean all it's, it's all thanks to you guys like the support you guys show and that sort of thing like yeah i i can truly can't ever thank you guys you know for that literally changed my life more than you could ever imagine and I'm glad like I'm able to make these videos that put a smile on your guys' faces and help you guys out as well, so... Yeah. Anyways, enough of that sad uh, sense of going soft shit, uh... Let's get back to... Let's get back to basics. We got the Maywing. We got the Pulse. Let's make some electronics, let's get some turrets up. Alright, we got a good bit of metal here. Fabricator coming up. Let's go. Oh, is the thing gonna be loud? It's okay. Ooh, so we can actually get our first turret. That's gonna be so huge. So I think I'm gonna. I might just do some scouting. Or well, what I'll do, I'll stick around the base for a bit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll stick around the base for a bit. Let me just prepare some stuff. Just until we get the first few turrets up on the base, so I know we're safe. Give me like another two foundations. Ooh, okay. I know that wasn't anything special, but I'm just getting excited because I'm getting used to the controls of the PlayStation version of mouse and keyboard. Getting a bit slick with it right now, getting used to it. Watch out. I'm on the roof, on the move. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just trying to think where would be best to set up a turret. Probably have a turret about here. Probably want a turret there. Damn. Not even an hour into wipe. Not even, maybe even half an hour's gone past, I'd say. <laughs> we already have a turret. Doing, doing pretty good. Okay, let's make an outlet, gin. And then that cable, place the gin just for now, don't worry, it's temporary. This is actually a, a neat little spot to have it though. Because I don't see much space over there to- Yo! I feel so cozy in this base! Oh, it literally, this is what- Oh, the good- This- This is putting me back so many years right now. Just looking at all of this. I remember my cozy freaking rat hole. Ah, oh. ah, oh, man, yo, I ain't crying. You might see a tear or some shit. Yo, that, that ain't me. Okay, what, what do we need for our first turret? What are we missing? Just metal. But if I go in here and I take the metal, put that there. Turret. Hey, let's go. And then how many bullets can we make? It's probably not going to be that much. Hey, okay, that's not that. That's not too bad. Alright, let's get the gin set up. Boom. 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 And boom. I mean, the one thing about this spot that's a bit sucky is this little ledge in the way over there but other than that it's pretty sick there we go off first turret look at that look at us go they obviously can uh see spin to the back there and get line of sight but i plan to obviously place more turrets um there afterwards it's just this is we need to get our first turret up so it's priority number one just there Probably get like a hatch frame coming up here or something like that with more turrets afterwards but obviously only once we can afford that okay cool inventory looking neat all right so the next thing i'm gonna look out for now is going to be ray targets because right now before we can make more turrets and bullets and that sort of thing we obviously just need more metal so yeah and then whilst the base is smelting metal i just want to check this yeah, boom, got it under there. Obviously, someone can come over here, shoot a rocket up, line of sight, but I have a plan to get more turrets in here 
Just not yet, of course. Not until we can afford them. Also, with this base, I believe you can see spin. It's not obviously the best base spot, but I'm just doing it for the nostalgia. You can see spin through the top. There's a spot at the bottom you can also come through. So there's various spots you can come through. But I'll make sure to play some good fence supports and have this thing rocked out. I guess the one nice thing about it is it's obviously not 6x. Hopefully no one spots me like going in and out of it. Because that would be bad, especially in the building upstage. Let's see if I can find any bases though. So this is two very popular spots. Well known spots just near me and if someone's living here I better make sure I know about it and I'm careful. I uh, don't see anyone in here. Then if there's no one in there there may very well be someone in here. Yeah. Oh, okay, no one in here. Okay, so no no neighbors extremely close by. That, that's a, that's a good thing. So I don't have to worry about anyone trying to raid me immediately. Unless someone does come on like a little scouting trip. They may check me out if they know about that spot. But now I don't really have to worry about neighbors. Okay, I'm just gonna go check the base one more time to make sure no one's here. Well, I may just wait for more turrets. I think that's what I'm gonna do, yeah. Because I really do want to have this spot on lock. I wonder what I need for more turrets. Oh, no, I'll, yeah, when, when the electronics are done crafting, I'll, I'll have enough metal. I also want to invest in a metal hatch frame, but I don't think I can afford that right now. Can I get a stone one? I know it's stone, but... Right now it's better than nothing and I can't afford to make metal. This. This will give coverage to, to the front and it might shoot at the back as well. And it will cover this side, so this is actually pretty decent. Yeah, so this should shoot to the back. Yeah. And then if I get another turret, I'll just place it... Maybe on that very back, actually. Or... I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. Boom. Another turret coming up. There we go. We got a turret there, so if someone spins to the back... I'm not sure how this terrain works, but it should shoot them. If someone's peeking, it should shoot them. We got it turret there, so that should cover that. Generator's got enough gas. Okay, now I'm not really confident leaving my base, but at least we have some sort of, you know, something to protect our base while whilst we're gone. So I want to do just a little bit of scouting. I also want to get a Sonoma crops, but first I'm going to scout the area, see what's up, see who's around. Okay, this is a pretty popular spot over here. I mean, back in the day, people on PS4, PlayStation, they used to bolt here. They even used to bolt in my, the spots where I have neighbors, but... Surprisingly, I didn't find anyone there. Guess maybe in that time that I've been gone from PlayStation, people have switched up the spots they bowl in. But I guess this is also sort of a good sign because it means my area that I'm living in right now, it, it gives me like a higher chance of survival because people won't be checking it out as frequently as other areas. So I guess that's a good thing. Okay, this is the classic one. Back when I first played MTS's first season on PlayStation. They don't have PlayStation servers anymore, but this was one of the spots we claimed. And it's empty though. Interesting. Anyone below? 
Oh, it doesn't look like it. What usually and normally is a thriving area filled with survivors everywhere, it's gone dead quiet. Alright, this is, this is a classic PC spot right here, this one. Yeah, I mean, we got a cooking pot. Oh yeah, we got a base. Oh, they got... Oh my... Yep, we have a base. I need to get back right now and make C4. That... That is the target and a half. That is the target and a half. Three fabricators going off. They got a bunch of forges in there that aren't smelting, which tells me they may very well have ran out of wood. And they're gonna have a ton of metal, which is exactly what I need. Oh my, yep, that's a, that's a target and a half. Do I pop them? No, the main wing is just... Oh man, like... <laughs> why? I, I, I don't know why I do this to myself. The, like, I could have just not limited myself to the center and I would have been able to get a bloodstalk and a bloodstalk will be able to go up and down and side to side very quickly. Instead, I decide to put myself through pain and agony. But you know what, it makes it more exciting and more thrilling and more hardcore, so, so I'm all for it. I am all for it. Oh wait, I think C4, I just, wait, that's, I don't think C4 glitches like how it does on Windows. I think, I don't think Steam has that problem with C4 glitches, but I think it's a, I, I think it's a Windows thing. Oh, bless, bless the Playstations. I think I might just do that. Did you just eat my boa? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, you got it. I forgot you got to click fast for this to work. There we go. I'm coming in. Watch out. The tanky PT. I guess it is high level. Then again, wait, do I even want to alert these guys? The PC. Oh, is this actually a thing? Oh man, I think it might be a thing. I think the C4 bug might be a thing on PlayStation 2. Okay, PT's dead anyways. They've been alerted. How's the lag or FPS with this? And... Oh, he's sleeping. That's why it's not registering. Oh, he has rockets! What? Okay, let me, let me get in here with my PT. Wait, fabricator unlocked. Is it by deep? No, so certain things are locked, certain things are unlocked. Fabricators are unlocked though, don't need to destroy them. Let's see what this one had. Bunch of metal and electronics, exactly what I need to make more turrets. The very resource. And then if I can access this one. Oh my, look at all this metal! And all of these resources, what? Oh, that one was so loaded, but this one? Oh, this one is locked, I can't access that one. What? Look at- Oh my! So much pace, so much- Holy, this base is freaking loaded! I knew it! All I needed was just one raid. One raid. Oh, I'm gonna be able to do so much upgrades on the base now. This is perfect! This is I mean, I better make sure I also get out of here alive. So I need to hurry up before anyone else comes. I mean, with the rockets I have, I could just use it to speed up the process of destroying all the structures. Alright, let's see this bag. Okay, just more electronics, but I'll take it. Uh, how many rockets do I have? Oh, three, so I don't have that many. Okay, Smithy almost destroyed it. See, Mortar pistols, bunch of stone. Bunch of stone. This guy was a farmer. Farmer Brown out here. Oh, but we just did it! No, 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 What else did we get? Uh, we actually got a weapon. We got a proper weapon. Oh, we got a set overcrops! Even more important, we got a set overcrops. I mean, this weapon will quite literally allow us to break these. Although, some of them are in the mesh. Yeah, it's not registering. We might not actually be able to get the loot on... That's not registering. Maybe if I... I know if you shoot it in the head, you deal more damage, but I don't think I can hit the head. Oh, 
okay, I might have used PT on this. The PT doesn't even deal that much damage. I'm gonna go back to base. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Do I have gunpowder? He should have had gunpowder, right? No, he didn't, surprisingly. But he did have a bunch of spark, so I can make gunpowder. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head back to base, deposit this loot, make some upgrades to the base as well. And then once I'm done doing all of those things, I'll come back for those mannequins because right now more important than anything is just our base, you know? Our headquarters. We, we, we gotta make sure we protect that thing with our lives, so... First, we'll use these resources to upgrade the base as much as we can. Especially with the Sonoma crops, building is gonna be so much easier. <laughs> I'm mostly like, uh, the resources are, are absolutely insane, but... And even though they're more important, some... Some people, crazy people, may say they're more important than uh, Sonoma crops. I... On the other hand, I'm so excited to freaking have a Sonoma Crops. Let's go, man. And the only thing I really need are bullets. Levels are going up nicely. With this, I just need gunpowder. Do I have gunpowder? Okay, well, let me just deposit these resources here. I want to make some, with the metal and paste, I'd be silly to not make metal structures to upgrade certain things, so let's get a hatch frame. Let's get a couple walls, say like six. Door. Okay, nice. Can we make a chemistry bench? Spark powder. Boom. Can we make an industrial porch? Okay, not yet, but I'd rather have a chemistry bench right now than an industrial forge. Because that's just gonna benefit us so much more. And then we'll place this beautiful structure over here. Oh my. Gunpowder is gonna be coming up so much faster now. This is so perfect, man. Let's go. Let's just freaking go. First things first, let's upgrade this to metal so no one can easily destroy it. Beautiful. If I'm being honest with you, I didn't know that would like replace like that. I thought you'd have to maybe pick it up like a clip plant. If anyone wants to see spin into this base now and take out the gin, now's the time. Because I am upgrading all of this to metal. Yeah, now's the time you better take advantage. Sweet. So, pretty much we got some decent-ish protection if someone tries to raid us. Obviously it just takes- actually wait a minute, I'm not done yet. Because we profited so hard, I want to make sure I can use as much of these resources to benefit us as much as possible. But the other thing I want to do, I want to make a bunch of these. Give me like, say 30 of those. Really, the main idea with these is just to have them lock the various entrances into the spot so this would be one of them this is the upper entrance i mean there's like i said the spot isn't the greatest but yeah well that's that's all i have to say about it but it is my spot the very spot that i bought when i first started playing solo and recording my first ever series for the channel so yeah do with that what you will. Having these fence supports are just gonna add that just that extra extra defense. Yeah, how's this looking? Yeah, that's pretty covered and then probably just need one. I'd say behind this one. There we go. Okay, so how, how does this look? Yeah, so now we've blocked the top entrance. The top entrance that you can normally see spin through. I'm pretty sure PT doesn't fit through that. Player, sure, but PT won't fit through that, so that's good. Then this bottom entrance is actually going to be a bit of a pain to cover. Let's do the middle. Let's continue from this thing. And then base it off that. Wait, can you not place like underneath? A fence support thing? I don't think you can, okay. Then this bottom entrance. This is the big one. This is probably the one we should try to take care of. Yeah. 
it's not entirely covered but my Sonoma Cropsy is gonna run out of food and I do need to get a chitin so I'll just use these last few to just finish what I started nice and uh, we can continue when I get back but it's looking good it's looking pretty good so far I need to get my Sonoma Crops food though so it doesn't die let's just also take we get this with our PT can't go through there can't, yeah can't go through there This is going to have to be one spot at least that we can go through so we can get in and out. Well, not even, because we have Sonoma crops, so we can just toss the PT out of a cryopod. Okay, but that's that, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. We got a few more turrets up on the base. And then not only that, we have also... What's it called? The fence supports as well. And we've blocked an entire entrance with the fence supports. Now there's just... I think two entrances mixed into that it's like three entrances mixed into one uh, and we just got to take care of the other two if that makes sense man everything was going so well until you realize you live in south africa then uh things don't go that well Okay, I'm gonna have to find out if I'm dead now. Power went out. And, you know, <laughs> man, you guys should see the struggle that I go through out here in South Africa with these power outages. I mean, you know, I thought the generator would be enough, but I guess adding that PS5 to the... To the... To the equation, it just... It's now, it's not enough anymore. And with these power outages that we experience, I guess... Well, I guess, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, I mean, with these, these power outages are pretty annoying as shit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be alive. I probably lost my kit. I'd imagine I, I fell all the way to the ground. Is what... Oh, I'm getting... Maybe I'm mid -air. I'm hoping I'm mid -air. If I'm mid -air, I can still parachute. I'm going to have to mid -air enable mouse and keyboard. Or I'm just dead. But uh, let's be optimistic. Come on, please, please, please be mid -air. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hear sounds. I'm alive! I'm alive! Let's go! Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who's using this? Oh, come on, don't glitch out, Toby. Mouse here, come on. Are you kidding me? It's this bug again. Wait, mouse and keyboard? Is it working now? No, it's glitched. It's glitched. It's not working. It's not working. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. Oh my god, bro. Recording is so free. Oh, please. please. Are, you, are you gonna walk up? You kidding me, man? Ah. It's so. Why does it have to be so hot? Yo, yes, work! Yes! Oh god, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know what? You use it. There we go. Oh, but... Ah. Uh. The was like, oh, Like, I'm just trying to record, you know, and, and pull, pull, you know, make something up. But it's so, f no, but you know what? I, I want to become stronger. The, the, these challenges and trials and tribulations, this is what will make me stronger. It's going through these hardships as annoying as they can be. That this is what's going to make me stronger. If I could just survive and, you know, get through this. Like, what BS is this? No, we're not gonna complain. We're gonna become a stoic monk. Oh man, and you... That's not even the worst of it. So I'm sure you guys know what, like, heat is. So imagine... Obviously when my power goes out, there's no way I'm powering the AC. It's just gonna zap too much power. So I don't even use the AC and... I, 
I should show you all the sweat that my ass produces on that chair, man. But you know what it's worth it because I'm recording content for you guys, so... At the end of the day, it's... It, it, it's worth it. But like, oh, maybe I should send a... No, no, that's a bit disgusting. Send a screenshot of the puddle that I have going on here. But yeah, I'm, I'm learning how this whole recording... Because I'm using remote play to record from my PC. And then all the intricacies that goes with that, having audio on separate tracks and all of that sort of thing, you know. That's how that makes it possible, it's, but yeah. Do you know what, is this going to make me stronger, more capable, all of the above. My hope now is that I'm able to run there. I'd imagine, I just have, I would have just, did my PT die? Reverse log order. Oh, uh, right, 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 we can't afford to get killed. Nah, it was just us that killed. Okay, cool. So that means my PT. I was at a relatively, um, what's it called? High height, so I should be able to whistle it back. If I can whistle my PT, I can get to my body. If I can get to my body, then I can get to the Sonoma crops. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be right back where we left off. One thing I did pray for was patience and... strength and I guess you know and discipline and all that other stuff so I guess this is just like part of it because you know sometimes you I'm ready that I am ready that sometimes like you know you ask to become stronger and you ask to become this and that but like the way that happens isn't necessarily oh boom you're just gonna become stronger more disciplined nah you're gonna be given challenges in life and those challenges are what's going to make you stronger make you more disciplined you know and so maybe you know this is just one of those things that is gonna make me more patient for this damn i'll tell you arc is one game that definitely tests your patience especially when you're trying to pull off the things i'm trying to pull off trying to record from this and do this and that and i'm gonna hear a whistle wolves Howling in a second. Oh yeah, we got the woolly rhino boys. Yeah, we got the woolly rhino brothers. They'll, they'll, they'll take care of the wolves. Of course. Okay, I think I died somewhere around here. More or less, I think this is where it happened. I could get a parachute if I can get that RG to attack the Rhino, but it could deal so much damage that I do end up dying, so that might not be good. But I do wait, what do I need for parachutes? Oh no, I don't I don't need hide. Okay, is this the base spot? I think I think it is. Yeah, this is roughly where I was scouting. Yeah, there's my PT. Yes, there's my body. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Nothing can stop us. But you got that wall, that determination, and all that other stuff I just mentioned. No! Okay. Good thing I made parachutes. Maybe I should try finding the Sonoma crops first. I need to get the body. But I should be... I should... It should be possible to... Loot that body... Without... Falling down? Maybe? Yes! Yes, let's go! Okay, nice. We got everything back. Alright, time to find the Sonoma. Ain't no way I'm leaving out the Sonoma crops. Also, no, no, yes, there's Sonoma. Yeah, buddy. Come to me, come to me, buddy. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Family reunion. 
Hey, we got the Sonoma back. All right, let, let, let's carry on where we left off. You see, our patience was tested and uh, okay, I guess maybe I didn't react in the best way possible. But given the circumstances, the uh, given the circumstances, I, th I think we didn't do too bad either. <laughs> we just lost our shit for a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I really need to find a base that has bloodstalkers, but I'm afraid it will probably have to be one with a lot of defenses before I get to the. Oh, I might get lit up. I almost just got lit up there. Those old autos. I can actually so raid that. Oh! We found our next raid target. That's like... I just gotta tame PTs. If I just tame PTs, I can raid that. Okay, then what I'm going to do... I'm no longer gonna scout or anything like that. Because I found this tar... But I could, should probably still continue scouting as a thing. Ah! Uh, but what if I get a Bloodstalker from that ra raid, and then that's gonna just make scouting that much easier? Hmm. And I do I have tranks? No, but I can make tranks probably. That's like max. I'm gonna need. I, I should only realistically need, it's autos, so I should only realistically need like one PT to do that raid. I think, uh, so what I'll do, I'll scout the base spots I know over in the this part of the map. Like the border side of the map. And then if I don't find anything, I'll just look towards uh, taming PTs. I think that's going to be the main idea. Man, one day I can't wait. I'm so excited, but one day I, I want to like get, tell the story when we hit like a big milestone, like a million subscribers or something like that. Of just how I started, you know, this whole channel and yeah, that got raided. How, just how everything came to be. My editing, yo, how I used to record voice, so you guys won't believe. Yo, yo, when I'm talking like the trenches, I was in the freaking trenches the way I used to make my videos. Like, damn, now nah, we, we've come a long way. We indeed have come a long, long way. I'm so proud as well. Ah, telling that story, oh man, it always gets me excited. But I want to save it for a big milestone because it, it does mean a lot to me. And of course, like, I literally only have you guys to thank. Because without your guys' support, I, literally none of this would be possible. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a base and a half. Is it possible to fire rockets up? Maybe, actually. I won't... I'll try not to go too close. Actually, nah, because you, you would need to go above this ledge, and the turret may react, in, it might not, may, that, oh, gotta make sure I don't do that, okay, that one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one in mind, they do have heavies, so it's obviously a lot harder, but it's not impossible, I might, like, I could definitely see spin and shoot a rocket, but it's, it's gonna take, like, a lot of sea spins. Just to do it. What's this? Is this raided? Yeah, that got raided. Okay. 
So now we know of another target. No, the scouting is good. So we have two ray targets, but we definitely know which one we're going for first out of those two. My search was successful. I had found two targets and was almost ready to raid one of them. The only thing I was missing to do the raid itself was Pteranodons, and after taming a few, it was time for the raid. Oh man, I'm excited. This is literally our signature. This, These types of raids was all, well, most of the times when I raided bases, this is what they consisted of. It was the PTC spin. All I really used to do back in the day. And I think I'll make a storage box just to... No, but it won't be enough to store my kit. I will have to toss something out. So I will have to wait a cry timer. You know what's a normal? No, wait. I got a better idea. There's a normal crops. Here, 200 IQ. The normal crops right there. Storage box here. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need a storage box because I have the normal crops. The normal crops is my storage box. Boom. Rocket launcher. Rockets right there. The shield in there. All I have is this rocket launcher. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get two rockets off, but I know I'll definitely be able to get one. Uh, yeah, let me take a spyglass just so I can get a better view of this thing. It's pretty much a straightforward C spin. Yeah, pretty much a straightforward C spin. I think PTs that can actually go through double door frames. Oh, I even see the alt I even see the gin. If I had flame arrows, I could actually, I could actually do use flame arrows for this. But I say, judging by okay, what we can already blatantly see. I say I aim for high up, hop off and get a rocket off somewhere on the higher turrets. Chances are I'll hit the outlet as well. Alright, let's do this. The ye old PTC spin. Just come on, it's just like how I used to do it back in the day. Let's see if I still got it. This was my signature right here. Where's the okay, there's the base. I'm thinking for this I'll just stay in third person. And then I'll just hug, come up as close as possible here. And then it's just like straight, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay, almost missed that one up. Easy does it. All right, here we go. Oh my, we got glitched back. We were like right on it. We were literally right on it. And then we got glitched back. Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Wait a minute! My PT! Yo! My PT is still alive! The, all of the turrets are on only survivors. I can actually use my C4 to raid that base. I don't even need to use... I don't even need to use uh, a PTC spin. Because I have C4. I can just attach that to the PT. Also the PT to attack the target. What do I need for Spyglass? Oh, perfect. Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. All of the turrets are only survivors. No way. Okay, let me just see if I can get the attention of the PT. Okay, well... Okay, yes, okay, now it came out. I was about to say we'll just test it with the other PT. Okay, let's head. Over here. D4. Is that place? Look how slow the PT is flying. That means it has the C4 on it. Because otherwise it wouldn't like be flying that slow. No, that's the fence support. I need it on the turret. I need it to go further. I need to just go a little bit deeper. Is it... Is that close enough? I think, I think it might be. Oh, we took out some turrets. Yeah, nice. Okay. We took out some turrets. And it's just, 
those turrets over there. Okay, now I need to whistle this, but the manner in which I need to do it is so that it goes to that turret. I need to aim, or even the stone ceiling, that will work. No, but it just, it only goes as far as the fin supports for some reason. Okay, if I can get it in that bottom corner there. Okay, it's going. For whatever reason, the furthest I could whistle were the fin supports. Nothing past that. So this was the closest I could get the Tyranodon. That's, that's as good as it's gonna get. What? You tell me that did nothing. Okay. We're doing this with rockets. You ask me? That wall should have gone down. Now, it was time for option B. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this! Oh. Well, we got some of the turrets. We didn't get all. So what I gotta do now... I could spawn back here, make a rocket. Yeah, I'll spawn back here. Was it faster with the Maywing? No, it's gonna be faster with two trips, one trip versus one trip. Uh, we'll just do it here. Play it risky. Yeah, we just fly above, fly through the double door frames, and we're in the base. Simple. Fly above. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that again. Fly, fly above, and then we're in the base. Uh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. How an how anticlimactic was that? <laughs> Yo, outlet was just there. All right, let's kit up. Sonoma crops is happy. It's got its food. As long as the normal crops is happy, I'm happy. Uh, let me put that there. Alright, let's see what we had in the... Well, first let's take out the players and any beds. Which would be that right there. One rocket should do the trick. They have a bolt as well. Let's get the ARB. Oh, uh, not that much, but... Considering they had a few, fair few turrets, this is actually pretty good. We will probably have to get a bunch of C4 for that vault if we could tame an Arthro. Oh, that is huge. But if we can get Flint, that would be nice. Fabricator here. Let's see what they- Oh my! Spot, we got a bunch of spawn, but we're looking- We got a bunch of gunpowder, we can make so many bullets. I was not expecting this from this raid. I was not at all expecting that much gunpowder from this raid. Holy freaking hell. Generator, nice. We can fill up our generator with all that gas. He's got his Maywing here that is on passive. Thank you for doing that. Still don't know where the players are. Play here, I should say. Not too sure, but I guess we'll find out. Want to take care of this thing. Okay, yeah, this just had a Maywing saddle. Did the mannequin have anything? Yeah, we'll think of taming an author, but with all the gunpowder we just got? Hell nah. No way I'm doing that. Load our mannequin. What do we got? We got bed suits. I mean, I'm gonna, I can't actually get these bed suits because we're not allowed to go to any other map, so I'm gonna take that. We got some Maywing eggs. Ammo types flame arrows. Literally the thing I needed to flame arrow the gen. And this raid would have gone and hold it. Well, it could have just been much, much easier. Yeah, I won't take the kibble because I have a whole bunch of that. I don't want to overstock on that. Take the cryopods. Uh, I'll take the tranks. Those arrows. ET saddles are pretty nice. For more raids like these. Okay, cool. So that looks like the whole bunch there. Let me just... I don't think I'm missing out on anything really. They got this vault here. So I'll head back to base to make more C4. Let me just make sure no one else is here. You know, pretty sure that was the the maybe I just heard. Maybe get the turret, big maybe. Yo, 
Yo, what's up with I swear structures like this on Windows Lock. I I swear, I, I swear that ceiling would have blown. Oh, my. that is crazy. What? All right, let's see first what the refining forge had. Some oil and hide. I'll take that. And vault time. Yes, here we go. PT Carbo. Bunch of thatch. I will take that in a second. Okay, but otherwise, nothing too crazy. We got a bunch of soups here. Really, what I, I take the artifacts for boss fights. Really, what I'd want more than anything though would def oh good crossbows. Take some of those tools. But yeah, like I was saying, really, what I'd want more than anything, uh, I'll take that. I'll drop the rest and I'll take that. Would be chitin because that's like literally going to be the best way to level up. Okay, I'll leave the rest. Yeah, I'll leave the rest behind. I think there was a PT saddle in there I missed. Uh, let me just see if I can bust open this industrial forge. Because industrial forges as well, they're another structure that's pretty buggy when it comes to blowing them up. Make sure I don't get freaking lagged back into that. Perfect. And nice, even more metal. And then last but not least, we'll get some good profit if we just blow up these turrets. How much bullets? 95, yeah, that's already profit. Because it costs 60 gunpowder just to make one C4. Boom. Beautiful. What a lovely, 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 lovely raid. All this profit, take it back to base. Okay, now continue with these fin supports. Like I said, the one entrance I do want to work on is this big boy entrance right here. I think that's actually, yeah, that's, oh, that's perfectly in the center. You see, like, the mistake they made with their fin support placement, they only placed one, and PTs can fit through that. But if you place two like this, there's no way in hell a PT is going to fit, you know, through this. Because it's, the size is obviously halved. So I'm not sure if it's just me, but do you ever feel like placing fin supports are harder than they should be? Like sometimes they just like, for example this, they don't just snap how you'd want them. You gotta be very specific in order to get them to snap. Okay, nice. So now if we're looking at this entrance, if we come through, we can't come through here with the PT, we can't come through here with the PT. But we actually can come through the side here this little i'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be we'll be able to so i just need to fix that by doing something like doesn't have to be right next to it but probably something like that yeah beautiful we just have that spiral all the way up through and that should actually be all the fin supports down on the base i'm pretty sure then we can look towards how we want to build out this base because obviously the next thing we need to focus on is do we... Mm, I'm trying to think about like do we want a death wall? My answer? Not really. I feel this base spot, if we were to build say a fixed death wall right here, actually wouldn't be too bad. I mean it wouldn't be the worst case, you know. Having a death wall. But the thing is, once they get past these fin supports, C spinning the wall, that's how you raid the spot. You can just C spin the wall. Um My thought was actually just having a bunch of turrets spammed everywhere. Like, you know, have a gen at the very, very back and with turrets protecting it. And then have turrets like there, there, there. And then obviously for the outlets, we can place a triangle foundation or something to protect them. Because I feel building like a fixed death wall, although I would like that, I feel would be weaker than just having turrets randomly spammed all over this whole spot. I don't know, that's just my thoughts. I could be wrong, but when it actually comes time to set that sort of thing up, then we'll see. For now, let me just finish the fence supports because this is very important to get set up. Hopefully I can get that snap point. Beautiful. Yeah, you know what that does? That does the trick right there. So now this base spot is fully covered from C-spin attacks. 
until they get rid of those fin supports and then we're gonna need something else. But for now... For now we're protected. Here's the other thing, right? I could make a cliff platform and place it at the very back and then off that cliff platform, like I stick it as far back as possible and then this is where I build like the whole area, like the crafting station, everything. And then over here will just be like a massive death wall. We'll have turrets here, turrets all over the show. Because my thinking is, say we have a crafting station over here. And our generator and all our turrets back here. If they get into the base, they don't need to worry about the turrets back there and the generator back there. They can just, if they come here and they get it on whatever turrets we have here. They have access to the crafting station. Our crafting station is lost. Sure, it's probably going to be a bit of a process to get rid of the turrets over here or just get in and out. But at the end of the day, it's, like, it's still it's like the our, all our loot will be gone. So I think it actually will be in our best interest to make our crafting station at the very, very back of this base spot. And now that I'm saying it out loud, yeah, it does, it does make sense. I remember the last time I lived here. Couple hundred hours of experience and yet I still survived. Now with a few thousand, who knows what is possible. Also, seeing as it was getting quite late, I decided to call it at night. Even though I only had autos, I was confident I'd survive. I mean, take a look at the map. This is where I live. And then this is where the tribe on the hidden ledge lived. The ones I raided. Then this is where the tribe in the crevice that I also raided lived. You'll notice, they were an extremely far distance from me. And the next tribe, to my knowledge, that was the quote-unquote closest, was all the way in some waterfall. So, I felt more than safe ending day one with just some autos. Alright, this is it. That moment every arc player. This is the this is the moment when you find out if you raided or not. Please, please, yes! I hear sounds, I hear sounds of crafting station. Oh, I gotta figure this out. Oh, there I got a naval market keyboard. We're alive! Yo, Sonoma, we did it! We're alive. Anything happened while I was gone? Oh no. That's not good. Four ninety. I put like five hundred in each of these. Four eighty seven. Four thirty seven. Four ninety five. Oh no, these shot a couple times. He didn't stick around too long. It seems he failed once and then left. Did he by any chance damage these fin supports? Yeah, look, wait, no, 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 is that just shadow? No, that's just the shadow. Okay. Okay, we're alive! Despite all the external disadvantages we have, we are still alive, which is always an amazing and great thing. It's always a relief when you wake up to your base and raided. But then again, not so much when you find out that there's someone out there that was trying to get me. But I couldn't even worry about that. I mean, I did have a lead, his name, but that was about it. Now, I needed to focus on my base. It was still in the auto stage. I needed to get heavies, and for that, I needed to get a tame. Oh, I stand to be corrected. We got a 55 and a 95, I'll take the 95. Both males, uh, is this the 95? Yeah, this is the 95, right? Oh no. Oh, we have a fight going down here. It's obvious who's gonna lose. Oh damn, that bear is doing some serious work on that Megatherium. Ah. I am still not used to this FOV. I wonder if the, I need to find out if there's a way to change the FOV on PlayStation because this is just way too low. 
I cannot see anything in first third person actually. It's an interesting chap this one. Probably gonna attack me now. Yep, as predicted. Alright. Alright, we'll just What'd you get? See me and this big guy, we're friends. Ain't no need to be hostile out in these parts. You see? Friends. Anyways. Now that we got the Mega Ethereum, that's gonna allow us to get a bunch of chitin. So we've got a couple things in here. Uh, well, we do have to come out this way, so... I won't farm just yet with the Kaita, I think what I'm doing to farm the drops first. The good news is we got our first drop. Bad news is it didn't have that much. You're gonna have to wait just a couple minutes. And we got shit from this. Right, boom, let's see what we get. And nothing out of these. And okay. Upgrade on the shield and we actually got a combo that we can use Once we make the arrows for it, not bad Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll take it Oh yeah, that's a lot of chitin Yeah, that will keep us going for a while Oh yeah, that gave 7.7k alone just there So this, I mean, maybe it's, I'm not 100% sure, but it might just be enough to get us all the way to 100. We just gotta hope. But what, we got like two more things out here. We've been getting a level from this, so that's not too bad. Okay, yeah, this wasn't bad at all, this trip right here. Alright, so now that we're back with all the kites, and I just wanna test this. What's that in there? Turn on. Alright, let's test this out. Yeah, just look at that XP. Yup, that's what I'm talking about. To some of you, this may seem familiar. If you remember back when I restricted myself to Lost Island, this was the exact method that I used to get to level 100. Of course, back then I had the toilet to give me some XP, a bonus. But here, there was no water inside my rat hole. So I was limited to that of the Broth of Enlightenment. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, nice. If I drink this, boom, we got double XP. Drop this. And now we're gonna get mad levels. Come on, so close. So freaking close. Just a little bit. I just wanna I wanna upgrade these autos to heavies. I think I'm gonna call it a night, man. It hasn't necessarily been a long or insanely productive day. I mean, we did make a good amount of progress. Getting level 100 is always very good, especially now we're going to be able to upgrade to heavies. That, that's just huge. The crafting station. Oh, I love to see that. The crafting station, however, that I'm going to leave for tomorrow for sure, because it's not going to make too much of it. Actually, moving it down there, it makes slight difference, but not too much, not too much. Now at least I want to upgrade these turrets to heavies, you know, maybe craft a bit of A or B here and there. And then call it, call it tonight. And boom, beautiful. With that, I think I'm going to call it tonight and we'll continue tomorrow. Oh, what a day, what a day. I know, I can see. Compared to day one, it was nowhere near as action-packed or busy, but by far was one of the most important days. Getting level 100, reaching it, and placing down heavies on my base, that would eliminate most of the competition out there that were interested in raiding me. All I needed was to survive the night so that I could take my base to that next level. Alright, it is a new day, how, how is the base looking, the turrets, just fine. Looks like ever since we got these heavies up, 
no one wants to mess with us, which is always a good thing. As for the base, well, today's the day. Today's the day we finally make those upgrades. So first of all, first of all, we are going to need a bunch of these because we are now setting up our main base. You know, the main base of operations. Still get used to or figuring out the perfect sensitivity and all that. But essentially what my, may, what my idea is, um, raising Thames, I may have to find a different base location for that. However, and this is a very big however, the base that, the, what I'm about to build is not going to be for raising Thames. What I am about to build is going to be strictly my, my quarters, you know, my, my man cave or I, I don't know what you'd call it. My bat cave, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's gonna be my main quarters essentially. And so, I'm trying to think. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to need to figure out the perfect distance. And if you ask me, I'd say like all the way back here. All I want to, so I'm gonna give myself about, I don't even need to give myself much space is the thing. Give me three foundation length. That, that Actually, that's yeah. So I'll, just, I'll take three foundation length. We'll go to the very bottom. And they will extend out like that. Boom. Connect it here. And then... I need to snap... No. I put a ceiling there. Put a pillar. I'm just gonna do like your basic death wall sort of design. You guys know. The usual pillar. And then you have your double door frames. And... Yeah. That sort of thing. Alright, not bad, not bad. And then what I gotta do, I gotta extend where gaps are, where gaps become created. So I just gotta... However, we on foot door frames. Definitely gonna need more than that. Give me another, I don't know, 40 more of these. You know, I'm actually thinking I may be better off playing with the controller. Well, not completely. Like, just how limited the mouse and keyboard capabilities that I'm realizing is on PlayStation, I'm thinking, yeah, it probably would be better with the controller, but only if I'm used to controller. Obviously, now I'm sort of unlearned controller and learned mouse and keyboard. So I think it's going to be like a similar process of trying to learn controller again. But I feel if I was always controller, it definitely would be, at least for PlayStation, it definitely would be um, better if I use controller, if I was used to it. Obviously that isn't the case, so we make do with what we know and have right now. Also, you'll see me place like a door frame there, and I know it doesn't do much, but I just do it for the for the look, you know, the aesthetic. Just so it looks good. For me, when I build, you know, my things, it's gotta look good. I believe that's what you call OCD. Like, see that that little thing? No, 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 that's not a proper color placement. You see, I gotta have it like perfect. See that you see that little gap that that's affecting me right now right now that is bothering me and until i get it there we go you see until i get it then i won't be satisfied it's almost like for those people that pop those pimples that are sad i don't know what it's like that sounds disgusting but for people for people that do it you know i i, I believe they get a satisfying feeling from it so yeah, that for me, that's my, you know, that you got to have that always nice to have a so for the pillars one. So one mistake, no mistake. I didn't, but I would have made it. It would have been a mistake had I not realized it is with pillars. Okay, wait, that one I have to put down, but I'll put it down like this just so I can give an example. Yeah, perfect. So with pillars, if you stick your vertical cable, say you stick it like this. 
then boom okay you place your outlet notice how that's gonna pop out and stick out you obviously don't want that so what you actually want to do whenever you're placing your vertical cables going through let me just grab this cable boom there we go you actually want to pick up one of the pillars and what that will allow you to do if i can actually come below it will allow you to submerge the cable within the puller i'm having a bit of trouble here because let me just pick this up here we go i can give a better example like this there we go and then once it's in the center okay boom you can see it's perfectly in the center then you can just put your ceiling back that you picked up you can put your puller back as well just like that so now you know it's perfectly secure one more Game hates me. Yo, you can like clearly see. <sighs> Sometimes this game, man. Okay, you can clearly see. Okay, there we go. Now it wants to work. Then I'll probably say it would be pretty good to have an outlet there. And then I would say it would be really nice to have an outlet at the very top. Which, if we get to place a vertical cable like that. There we go, perfect. If I look in K mode, everything should be spick and span. Yeah, perfect. And I need a triangle. Then I'll, what I'll do, I'll make like a triangle foundation and have this curve this way. So this, I mean, this technically could be a little area of the base, actually. I could have something here. Maybe I just have the crafting station here, and then with all the space that I have below, I figure out another use. Like maybe I... Hmm. But would this not be nice for breeding? This would be nice for breeding is the thing. beautiful stuff like this is art you guys are witnessing art before your very eyes okay so that looks good so I'm, can i fit a stego actually the chance of a stego fitting in here is pretty small however the chance of fitting it in here I want to say slightly bigger. Nah, definitely, actually. Now that I think about it, definitely. Okay, cool. So we have an idea. Well, not a, we know what we need to do and what's going to be used for what. So this will actually be our crafting station. Let's get to work on that. I'm going to have to end up crafting smithies. I'd say two more. And then actually in the smithy, I'm going to need to make fabs. I believe that's everything. Yep. I think I'm insane. Yep, I'm insane. Look at that placement. Why does this one just look so weird though? Why does he have to look weird? Why don't you just look... I mean, obviously, you know, it's nice to be out the box and don't be normal or whatever, but... For the sake of OCD, you got, kinda gotta be normal. You kinda gotta follow the crowd. Follow the sheep. Forget about being unique. You, in, this, in my crafty stations, you're gonna look just like everybody else. Oh, I think it's the ceiling, that's why. Because I'm placing this one on a ceiling. You know what? Because of that, I think two fabricators and one smithy is enough for a man such as myself. Living in a small rattle like this, I don't require much more than that. So yeah, two fabricators with these. Now, we can do that, we can do that. Beautiful. So now we at least know we have metal smelter and we're not going to go bankrupt on metal anytime soon. And you know, for the chemistry bridge, I think it actually looks neat over there. I don't know about you, but if you ask me, I think that looks rather delightful. I actually kind of like this, just freestyling the crafting station, not going my usual route how I usually do things. Thank you. 
Believe it or not, that's actually not going to haunt me at night. And we can have our bids. Slap bang. Cozy it up right here. Like, ah. I just love it when a base comes together. It just, it, it looks good. I do have a bit of inventory to sort out. But once that's taken care Actually, you know what? I I'm done work here. I did quite a bit of building thus far. Spending most of my time building, I figured it would be good to have a change of pace and would begin looking for those guys who tried to raid me. Alright, let's see what this PT is on about. I really don't know what's up with these random... There's a tank here. Never mind. Oh, we shouldn't need grapples. Oh, what, what? I was not expecting all of this. What? Okay, I'll take it. I mean, I may as well quickly go back to base to depot this before I continue. Just so it's safe. Base is right around the corner. I was not expecting it. I was expecting saddles. I wasn't expecting a bunch of resources and some good crossbows. That is actually so nice. Are these BPs now? Little did I know, that would be the only living thing I found. Looks like we got another aftermath situation right here. Uh, I'm, I mean, if, if none of these are damaged, then we know we could potentially catch someone off guard. You know, we just catch them in the middle of moving into a base, but obviously that's clearly damaged. I mean, so far it looks like someone out there has been doing the, the dirty work for me. But I sort of would like to get my hands dirty myself so I can actually get my hands on some loot as well. Throughout the entirety of my search, apart from bases that I raided, all the other ones I came across were raided. It was only until I found myself halfway across the map that I found. Is that a heavy? No, no, those are autos, I think. Can I hide underneath? No way. Ooh, I see the... I mean, 1C4 third person placement. This should work. All better than I expected. We have Amanda. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I wish it was actually good. Oh, my favorite weapon, a fab. Is it a good fab, though? 187. Okay, these are probably gonna get the Tyranodon up in here. Okay, just to break those. We got a vault that's locked. We gotta destroy beds. Let's check. Ooh, these were cat. This is gonna help out the ARB so much over at the base. I will have to head back to get more C. Oh, yo! No author saddle. Hopefully, we can get one. Look at all these coyotes. PTs, right? Stego, any good? I don't know if that. I'll have to check how much XP is put into it. No way! That's legit the most cryotains I've gotten this entire wipe so far from her. I think, do we even get, no, we got, we got a Sonoma Cross from that one. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll toss this all throughout. Alright, so from out of the Smithies and Fabs, we got one bag from two Fabs and one bag from two Smithies. Let's see, nothing in there. And oh my, in here, all that metal, all that hard polymer that's so valuable. Look, unfortunately, we did not get any, what's it called? We didn't get any arthro saddle, but what I can do, I can probably make one back at base. So even with the amount of resources we just got, I can just straight up simply craft the C4 for it. Okay, now nice. we got a bag for the vault. But first, let's check this. 
Okay, let's just add gasoline. Come on, come on. All right, this is what we have. Shotgun shells, I'll gladly take that. Nice Tyrannon saddles, nice crossbows. Uh, I won't take the Haz armor, because I can't really go to Ab. I gotta stay over here on the center. I guess the helmet will be good uh, against like poison, uh, po poison balls from Poison Wyvern. What else is gonna give me poison? Got more ammo types, okay. Got an okay-ish fab, nothing crazy. There is Eno saddle, some raw meats for the baby dinos. We'll take that, we'll take that. A bunch of stone. We can get some flint to with that, that'll be also quite nice. More nice crossbows. Hey, come on. Ah, that's getting. Oh, look at all the obsidian. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, that, that, that explains a lot. This is actually huge. Alien dust as well. The element just there. Look at all this. This obsidian is going to be so helpful. It would if I actually got the chance to use it. Did I get raided? No. However, due to the countless power outages I was experiencing at the time, I barely found the time to continue this wipe further. Regardless, my work here was done as I was able to accomplish both challenges that I had set out for myself, sticking to the center and claiming my OG rattle. The very base spot I recorded my first ever PlayStation series on, and now the second time on my very own ARC servers. As always, thank you so much for watching, to all my Patreon and YouTube members who got that extra mile, a massive thank you to you. And until next time, I hope you have a good day or night, and I'll see you in the next one.